Going for another win. Two years ago, Ann Loveless won the Art Prize Grand Prize with her quilted creation of Sleeping Bear Dunes Lakeshore. This year, she's back with another outstanding piece and a big twist. This looks so cool. 24 Hour News Ace Ellen Baca, she saw this new creation firsthand. What is the big difference this year? It's a neat one. So the entry two years ago was completely fibrous. It was a quilt made completely 100% out of cloth. But this year, she and her husband have submitted something new. It's called Photo Fiber. And it's called that because it's part quilt, part photograph. The real trick is trying to tell where the picture stops and the fabric begins. When people go by, they kind of look at it, then they realize what it is. Little spot, little spot. Can you see the reflection? Come where I am. Northwood Awakening in the Ford Museum may be big. Look at it from here, far away. Far away. It really looks like a photograph. But it deserves a close pass. Not photography. No, no, no. no, no, no. This display is part picture, part quilt, put together by the husband-wife team known as the Lovelaces. Ann and I frequently have, have shown together as artists with my photographs next to a quilt that she interpreted from the photograph. And people were just fascinated to see that interpretive process. In this year's art prize display, the photo and fabric are woven together so seamlessly. Right there. Yeah, right there. And then the spot right so mm -hmm. so It all just keeps going. It's hard to tell where one medium ends. So here you can see the fabric. And then, no, right here is the photograph already. And the other begins. And I'd apply a piece onto the photo, and then you stand back from it, and you can't even find it because it integrated so well with the photograph. The exhibit portrays a piece of their marriage, too, one capturing by film. You know, in the beginning, I kind of worked on my half, and he worked on his half. The other imagining through quilts. So the photograph does not extend under the fabric. Mm -hmm. The fabric is purely interpreted from the photograph. Now, after dozens of photographs, thousands of fabric squares, and more than six months of assembly, the work is worth the view. Like nothing we've ever seen. Now, the Lovelaces say that they're so excited about this new technique, they've already begun thinking of a new one, an autumn scene to create together. As for the winning quilt in 2013, that's set to be donated to the Sleeping Bear Dunes Visitor Center. So that's kind of a neat little contribution there. Yeah, perfect yeah. home for it. You get the sense that's one of those that you need to go see in person, not necessarily You have to. And you have to get right up close to it, too, because otherwise right. you don't even notice that it's anything special. It's when you get really close that you notice that there's photography and the quilting combined. And they just became grandparents? They did. So if you've stopped by and you haven't seen them by the exhibit, <laughs> they are grandparents for the first time. Okay. Brand new baby Carolyn, I think is her name. It's great. Yeah. A lot of detail to that piece, mm -hmm. too. Okay. Thank Ellen, you. Ellen. Thank you.